Hey guys, what is up? It is your friendly neighborhood Ugus here, back again with another Isaac Breaking Run. This time I'm going to start with Death's Touch. I haven't done that in a long time. And I just want to say, uh, I just got back from watching a movie. Uh, because it showed up to the Tivoli. It was Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Uh, and I, I gotta say, probably an infinite amount uh, of times better than I had initially anticipated it would be. Uh, my dad convinced me to go because he likes the Mission Impossible movies. I really have only kind of sort of seen one of them. I don't know which one. I don't remember. Uh, it was on TV and I watched some of it and I was like, eh, okay, whatever. Um, that guy should have died a lot sooner. Oh well. But, uh, so we saw Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and holy fuck. It was good. <laughs> it really, like, I don't care really for Tom Cruise. He's, I mean, he's a good actor, and he's, you know, he, he's good in action movies, which is all he really does. And he's, he, I mean, I don't know. I don't have anything really against him. It's just I don't really care for him, you know. But uh, this movie was so good. It was so good. That's that's also so good. All right, let me let me try and explain some good shit about um, Mission Impossible. All right. So, one thing that I, I will point out is incredible about it. That's unfortunate. Um, is the fact that every single shot, every camera shot in the movie, was fucking perfect. Honestly. Like, there were times, very, very seldom, but they existed, where, you know, I'd have to be... Shit. Alright, give me two. That's two. Um... Wait. Was that two? Was that... That was three. Nice. <laughs> uh, they were stacked on top of each other. We did it. But, uh, yeah, there were a few times where you had to kind of, you know, take yourself out of the shot in order to anchor yourself again, right? And those are, those are things that a lot of movies do, unfortunately. It's a difficult thing to prevent, but most of the time, you didn't have to think about where you were looking. The movie just guided you, right? And uh, there was like a uh, like 10, 15 minute long chase sequence in the middle of the movie. Um, and uh, every single shot in that chase sequence was perfect. It was act actually just perfect. Like it was, it was so good. There was a part, I think it's in the commercial, but like you don't really get the gravity of it until you, you watch the movie where... Um, I'm I'm bad with names of characters. Uh, who are, fuck? Uh, <laughs> they're in the car. Benji and what's his face? Tom Cruise. Um, sure, that's pretty good. They're in a car, and it's like, do you have your seatbelt on? D are you really asking me that now? Hold on, and then you see behind the car, <laughs> the ground is seemingly rotating up to meet the back of the car. Oh, whatever's passive. <laughs> and then it connects with the ground that is getting closer and closer to the back of the car and then the airbags explode and then of course immediately start deflating and it's just it's such a perfectly timed such a perfectly like shot sequence and I love it I love it and there were a lot of scenes like that in the movie like a lot a lot and it was just so freaking good I really didn't think I'd like it because it's, I don't know, I, I tend to dislike things that are, um, I don't know, too, too Hollywoodish. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have a good way to describe it, but, you know, movies that kind of just follow the same old formula of how to, you know, break the fucking box office or whatever. I tend to not like those kind of movies. And this one, it kind of felt that way as well, but it was so well done, I didn't even give a shit. <laughs> it was so good. And I might have to watch the other, uh, 
Mission Impossible movies. However many there are. I have no clue. I, I, I know so little about Mission Impossible, because I've never really cared for it. But if they're all like that, yeah, sign me up. Sure. I'm a big fan of that. Um... <clears throat> And like, don't get me wrong, there were there were a bunch of cliches, and, yeah, whatever. And there was a bunch of, uh, there, there were a ton of cliches, and there was a bunch of, what am I saying? Oh, comic relief, that's right. And normally, if you have a lot of cliches and you have comic relief, then generally the movie's bad. But, when done sparingly, comic relief can be quite good. And also allowing somebody who's actually a comedic person and knows how to deliver comedy, such as Simon Pegg, then you have great comic relief. And you can actually make it work. So, there you go. I'm gonna reroll. I'm glad I rerolled. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say right now, if you haven't seen Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, you should see Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I keep doing that. Damn it. Seriously though, right now is like a great time to like movies. There's a lot of movies that are out or coming out that are hopefully going to be great uh, with the ones that I haven't seen. But pretty much all the ones that I've seen that have come out recently have been quite good. And there's a bunch I still have to see. <clears throat> and of course I'm excited for Star Wars Episode 7. Which, isn't that... Shit, isn't that coming out this year? December this year, I think? Shit, man. If that's true... I think that's true. That's... The last I remember, I thought it was, like, December 2015. Uh, I might be wrong. They might have changed it, or maybe I'm imagining things and I'm confusing it with a different movie, but I'm pretty sure Star Wars Episode Seven, Yeah, whatever. Is end of this year. And if that's the case... Ooh. I am already excited. Shit, man. There's so many movies. Movies are great. Oh my god. It's like I'm playing fucking Toho, dude. Or Tuhu. It's Toho, right? That's how you pronounce it. I've been told before. I think I was back when I streamed Dark Souls. I was like talking about it, right? Because one of my buddies at the time was uh, Cherno TV. Uh, you might know, but Cherno is a character from Toho, and I think I mistakenly said Tuhu uh, when I was talking about where his name was from, and then people were like, "Uh, it's Toho." And literally spelled it out, you know, like toe ho. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's Toho. I hate the games, but uh <laughs> whatever. Shit. I'm going all the wrong ways. This sucks. <clears throat> oh yeah, and thank you for all the movie suggestions in the comments of the last video. I will hopefully get to them. <laughs> It's a lot of movies to watch. I think there were like five or so suggestions. Adding that onto the list of movies that I already need to watch myself. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. So we'll, we'll see. Shockingly enough, some of the suggestions uh, I actually haven't seen. I've been meaning to see for a long time. Uh, of course, <laughs> one of which is... Um... Oh god, now I'm forgetting the name. Give me a, a Total Recall. There we go. Uh, I haven't seen Total Recall. I know of it. I know a lot about it. I just have never seen it. So I should I should see that. I also haven't seen Drive, which I've heard is quite good. So I need to see that. Probably take the Magic 8 Ball. It's a good enough item, I think. Um, Caves 2. It's not good enough. Yeah! Abba dabba ding dong. Just pop this guy down and blow him the fuck up. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, fuck this floor. Uh, so, 
I need to see Total Recall. I need to see Drive. What were some others? Shit, I should I should have had this up on the other monitor. Whatever. I'll I'll get to pretty much every single one that you guys have mentioned. I I, I promise. Shit. Okay, hang on. Let's let's make sure that I don't get hit. There we go. Beautiful. I also, like I said, I, I probably need to see the other uh, Mission Impossible movies, so I'll get to that. Uh, still, God, I have so many movies! There's too many movies! That's one thing... Uh, that's one thing that is very unique to me. I'm gonna take this just because I am now almost Lord of the Flies, and that would be a free way to fly. Also, it's an alright item. Um... I'm, it's something that I like to think about. Like, what'll happen if movies... Like, what'll happen to movie critics, right? Obviously, anybody can be a movie critic. You just have to watch a lot of movies, right? But, what'll happen in time? Because every year, more and more movies get added, right? And obviously, you know, you, you're never going to be able to see them all. Even as it is right now, you're never going to see them all. But, every chunk of movies that comes out, there is a must-see movie, right? That's, that's the idea, at least. I knew I was gonna walk right over it. Like, there's a must-see movie in every, every <clears throat> chunk of releases. At what point do the must-see movies, uh... Fuck, I was trying to pay too much attention to that. At what point do the must-see movies become so, uh you <laughs> so ever present I suppose when there gets to a point where there's too many must see movies for movie critics what'll happen what'll happen to movie critics I mean the ones around will still be around but what if you want to become one how you do it there's too many movies man here's the plan here we go Alright, it's cramped. It's fine. I mean, I can't even imagine in like, I don't know, even 50 years from now, what will it be like to try and become educated on, you know, however many films. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, absolutely ridiculous. Although in fairness, there's a lot of, I mean, there there used to be a lot of must-see movies that people don't consider that way anymore. Um, what's the shit? What's what's the one? I haven't seen it. I've been meaning to, but it, it doesn't really pique my interest. But I've heard it's one of the greatest movies of all time. It's the one. It like, fuck. What's it called? God, I don't even remember anything about it. All I remember is Rosebud, and it's like black and white or something. Right? That movie. You know the one. Um, apparently that's the greatest movie of all time, and I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> and I know a lot of people who haven't seen it. So, it'll be interesting to see what movie... What movies actually stand the test of time. If any at all. Because if that one is becoming more and more optional by the year, then I wonder, and that's considered, like, it's, to be honest, it's still considered, from what I've heard from people who watch a shitload of movies, it is the greatest movie of all time, supposedly. Now, that might be overselling it. I tend to think that it is, but... Fuck, where were you? Um, but you know, the, the greatest movie of all time becoming optional is very bizarre, huh? So it'll be interesting to see. I, uh, the only thing I can hope for is that Avatar does not become considered one of the greatest movies of all time. That's the only, that's the only thing that uh, I can hope for in the future, for sure, when it comes to movies. Luck up is pretty good. Pfft, sure, mom's contacts are pretty good. 
I was hoping that this was the library. Well, I, I'll take that, I'll take that, and see ya. God, I can't remember the name of that movie that I'm talking about. The one with the rosebud and it's black and white and shit. I've heard the name, like, actual countless times, but I just cannot put my finger on it. It's like, it's honestly on the tip of my tongue. I, I really do wish, first of all, I wish that phrase was literal. Because, um... I could just then, you know, if it was on the tip of my tongue, couldn't I just spit it out? Like, literally, I could just be like, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, give me a second. <laughs> there it is. I really wish it was literal, man. That'd be great. That'd make everything so much easier. No deal with the devil is a little bit obnoxious. <sighs> Meh. Uh. They're okay. They're like... Uh, I I don't think I'm going to fight for them, though. There were two items there that I was considering. Lost Contact and Rubber Cement were, like, very, very good, but fighting for them... Fighting, fighting for them was a bit on the questionable side, I'd say. Right. Whoop. Hope this is the way. Looks like it is. <clears throat> it's always left and up, man. Left and up. I promise you, this one's is gonna be left and up. It's gotta be left. I'm lying. It's not left and up. Who told you that? Psh. It's never left enough. It's always, it's always down and left. Well, left then just like kind of a straight down. And then a little bit more to the left sometimes. Who told you left and up? What an idiot they were. It's clearly just down. See? I'm just correct. I know what I'm talking about. That's weird. No, I guess this makes sense, actually. Fuck off. I hate I hate those stupid, stupid, dumb enemies. I also hate this specific layout for Monsieur Frédéric. I really, I fucking hate this layout because of this. Looks like I'm hitting him with a few of my shots. All right, we got there. We'll see you later. I apologize <laughs> to anyone who's a who's a French speaker. I've done horrible, horrible things to your language. Okay. Puberty. Oh, forty-eight hour energy. Alright, double hematomesis, that does nothing. Lock up is pretty good. We'll take Wheel of Fortune and say, fuck it! Isn't it weird that I took three years of French and all I can really remember about it was counting to, to ten and I think if you give me a minute, I can probably count beyond ten. Um, and like very basic words that have no rhyme or reason to which ones I specifically remember. But yeah, I remember on du trois count cinq, six, sept, huit. Shit, what's nine? Fuck! I took three years of this language. Shit, what is nine? <laughs> I knew, I started thinking like, wouldn't it be funny if I just forgot one of the numbers? And then I here I am actually forgetting one of them. Shit, man, I don't even remember. My point is, I did it for three fucking years, right? And I don't remember Jack. And that's because the schooling system's way of teaching you a language is so fucking bad. 
I think most schooling systems way of teaching and I say most because I know for a fact not every single school it works the same way right and obviously some are better than others in the way that they teach but most are focused on just the regurgitation of information rather than the actual absorption I suppose would be the way to put it the, the actual learning um, which is very frustrating. That's that's my main problem with it, because I like learning stuff. I don't like memorizing and regurgitating. Memorizing and regurgitating is like, eh. Bleh. it makes me want to regurgitate, right? Um, I knew it was gonna hit me. I don't like this. But, uh, like, that's just, it, it really shows. Whenever you ask anybody who, you know, is American, went, went through the American schooling system, ask them what language they studied in high school, because that's a requirement, I, I believe, across America in order to graduate high school. Um, I know every single person I've ever talked to, it was a requirement to graduate to do foreign language. Uh... So I'm assuming it's everywhere in America. But if you ask anybody, you know, what language did you take? Can you speak it for me? They'll tell you whatever language it was. I don't know, German, Spanish, French, whatever. And then they'll probably be able to count to ten. And that's it. <laughs> like, I, honestly. And th sure, this is anecdotal. But, uh, again, everybody I've talked to... That's been the case. They don't remember shit. Because all it was, was memorization, like, you know, row memorization uh, and regurgitation, right? Which is awful. It's an awful way to learn. Hmm. 48 hour energy, tears down. And then obviously, everybody likes to bring up the you know, the the classical <laughs> sort of joke. It's it's phrased like a joke, but it's reality. Um, where, you know, you go through school and it's like, when the fuck am I going to use calculus in the real world? And it's like, oh, I use it every day. And then you get out of school and it's like, what the fuck is a tax? <laughs> How do I do taxes? Where was my tax class? Who's going to use this calculus when I got to worry about taxes? I don't know. School school doesn't fucking teach you shit. At least high school doesn't. College depends on the college, but... High school, you, you learn very incredibly basic and not really necessary things. And that's what sucks about it so bad. That's why it's butthole, but buttholes. Sure, biggity buttholes. Yeah, that that's yeah, sure. You know what? Fuck this room. I know it's not even that bad. It's not like it's the the triple envy room or anything, but I don't like it. Alright. I had no choice. I had to grab the battery. I don't know what I was saving it for, but... I really didn't want to waste that beautiful, beautiful battery. I'm gonna get blown up. I didn't get blown up. I got shot with diagonal lasers. I don't like that very much. Fuck. Guarantee this is this big room that I'm about to enter is the room right before the boss, so I can't skip it, and it's gonna be triple envy. Promise you. Well it's triple envy, I got fifty percent right. Um let's see. I'm gonna assume shit. <laughs> the first bomb was placed wrong, and then I kicked it to an even more wrong. Ah fuck. Alright. You know, fuck this too. Nice, I didn't even have to place a bomb. 
Beautiful. There we go. Woo! Thank God I didn't have to beat Triple Envy. Fuck this room, though. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Dude, I have, I have moments in this game where I just, like, I have a, a moment of, like, I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, clarity, how about, where I fucking see the Matrix and I dodge every bullet perfectly, even in a clusterfuck of flashing colors and bullshit. And then I have other times where I just walk right into a bullet that wasn't even aimed at me. <laughs> or just stand completely stationary as a bullet slowly careens towards me. Can you slowly careen? Is that a thing? Generally, the idea of careening, it implies speed, right? It, it implies at least a minimum amount of speed with which to lose control, right? Although technically you can lose control without having that minimum of speed. All right. This is not going well. Mostly because I am not killing him quickly at all. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? Oh yeah, just, no, no, that's fair. That's perfectly fair and reasonable. Shit, man, I might fucking lose. <laughs> okay. do that. I need a line to shoot you, bud. No! <laughs> you motherfucker! We lost. I have no chance. I don't have enough damage. Fuck off, game. This is bullshit. This is just bullshit is what this is right now. Alright, well... Yeah, okay, I can't do it. There's no way. I have no way. I had the first attempt with, like, seven hearts, and I couldn't do it. Fuck, dude, what an anticlimactic, an anticlimactic ending. You know, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm gonna actually end it so we get the sad piano. I'm just gonna end my life. That's, that's all that's gonna happen right now. So I'm ending my life. A few times. Shit, dude, I'm pissed at myself. <laughs> I mean, I'm pissed at myself, and I'm pissed at the game. The thing that really fucked me was that angel, right when he was going into phase two. The one that didn't die to the light beams passing over it, and took out three of my hearts. That was what really fucked me. I would have done it too if that angel hadn't been there, but whatever, man. Alright, well, <laughs> thanks for watching. That was a pretty short episode, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it anyway. And, um... Yeah, I don't have anything to say. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Uh, feel free to leave me more movie recommendations, even though my list is incredibly long and growing. But, um, I've been streaming recently, a lot, actually. Uh, what was it, four days in a row? Three? Four? Four? Yeah, four days in a row. Maybe five by the time this video goes out. So, um... Be sure to check that shit out if you enjoy Hearthstone or World of Warcraft. Or both. Because that's what I've been streaming recently. I might stream other shit at some point. I might go back to streaming some Dota 2 or something. I haven't played Dota in so long, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode where hopefully we can defeat Isaac. I sure hope that we can kill Isaac in the next one.